And my next question is, when it comes to sequels, sorry, I wrote this down and I'm missing where I'm at. Okay. Do they ruin the do, original? Yeah, yeah. Do bad sequels ruin the legacy of the original? Um, and the reason I bring this up, and I've heard it on other podcasts before, there's another guy that has always has mentioned where it's like, no, it doesn't because you'll always have the original. But I think that in some cases it does. Anthony. I, I have two words and one number. Spider-Man 3. So because of Spider-Man 3 – the first, the Sam Raimi Spider Man's one, like Spider Man one and two, aren't as good because that one just kind of is the last taste in your mouth. Well, honestly, I didn't mind Spider Man three. Like I watched it as a kid, I was a huge Spider Man fan, so it's not like I was disgusted. Like yeah. I know it's not as good as the other ones, but when you have a conversation about who the best Spider Man is, people will not say Tobey Maguire, or if they if they choose somebody other than Tobey Maguire, they say, "Oh, well, have you seen Spider Man 3? And that's how it ruins it. And and it, it's tainted people's idea of Tobey Maguire's Spider Man. Because of that dance scene and his whole emo thing that he was going with, which is crazy because one, number two is still, I think, yeah, it's still one of the my best my, superhero movies ever made. That and it's my still my number one Spider Man movie. Yes, it is. It is still will always be number one. But yeah, like three kind of taints it because you're like, oh, come on for me. And it happens a lot with comedy. Mm-hmm. The Hangover, number one. Should have been, and this is kind of opposite, not opposite to Spider-Man 3, but in numbers-wise, it's different. The Hangover should have gone down as one of the greatest comedies, like a classic comedy. But because it had two shitty sequels... <laughs> you all right there? Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> gross. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. Yeah. Um, because it had two shitty sequels, people don't really comment on the hangover anymore yeah but spider-man had re- two really good like one and two were really good it was the third one that was bad nick for you in terms of sequels do you find that bad sequels hurt the original? yes and no i would say um like in an instance like zoolander for example like oh, where yes. the second one was just garbage pure garbage yeah like i think what it does is it i i find it just elevates the first one a little bit more and be like you know okay. you know yeah. this is where you should have stopped yeah and like this, like it just goes to show how good of a movie it was, and da da da. Um, I think in that instance, a bad sequel actually does elevate the first one and makes you appreciate it a little bit more. Um, and hopefully, after that, they don't make a third because, like, mm. but sometimes they make a third too, and you're like, why? Forgot, like, for example, Waiting 2. Oh, yeah. You know, straight to DVD. Well, actually, I think the first waiting went to DVD, didn't it? Or was it? Yeah, the first one wasn't in the theaters, but uh, that was like a good one. Waiting, the original one with Ryan Reynolds was yeah. amazing, and then you have the second one, which was straight up garbage. Yeah. Like it was awful. But for me, it, like, yeah, okay, it, it sucked. That movie sucked, but it made me think, like, damn, how good was the original? And I went back and saw the original again, and that so that was like my lasting impression, right? Right. That's the way I look at it. See, and I still consider Hangover one of my favorite comedies of all time. Yeah. But it's just because they exist, like it it just it just kind of takes away from the fact that you could have just had one. Anchorman. You could have just had yeah. one. But in that case, I think because there was only one sequel that didn't do as good and it wasn't good. It was kind of like Zoolander. Like I thought it wasn't good at all. Yeah. Um it's it's made the first one still com- to be a classic. Yeah. Old school. We talked about Todd Phillips. They never made a second one, I don't think. Nope. Classic. Yeah. Classic, classic comedy. Die Hard now. They've been doing sequel after sequel after sequel. Yeah. The first one will never be a bad movie. It's still an amazing movie. But it's just got all this baggage behind it. Yeah. Home Alone. Home Alone. Yeah, yeah. If they would have stopped that just number one, it would have been number amazing. Number two was good. I'll say number two was enjoyable. It was fun, yeah. yeah. I'd say it was enjoyable. Three, four, five, and six. Should there not was have... that many of them? Dude, there were so many. One was, oh. one, I remember one I watched on Netflix. This guy was playing Xbox, and he got like abducted or something, and this 40-year-old guy on the other side of the mic playing with him tracked him down and tried saving him. Unbelievable. Really? Yeah. Unbelievable. Wow. That was a pl- that was the plot. Yeah, that's just yeah. you're overdoing it. Well, and and that's where I kind of look at it. And I'm just like, you know, and it was and this kind of came about because I was watching uh, comedians and cars getting coffee, 
Yeah. And it was, was the first episode of like the third or fourth or fifth season with Zach Galifianakis. And then it led into Between Two Ferns, Zach Galifianakis' yeah. thing, with Jerry Seinfeld. And he brought it up. He's like, do you think if they never made two or three, the first one would have been a comedy classic? And so I wrote it down right away. Yeah. And I'm just like, you know what? I think it would have. Like, even though it still elevates the first one, I th- and, and most of them do, i.e. Zoolander, Anchorman, Die Hard. I mean, there's so many... Uh, so many bad sequels there's also some good ones but like it's just kind of one of those things where like if it just didn't exist it would have gone down i think a different way yeah also just a quick psa sequels does not mean just a second film sequels means a continuation of something yeah so spider-man 3 iron man 3 thor 3 those are all sequels just i saw somebody say no these aren't sequels well and look at uh look at thor thor had a bad sequel and then an amazing amazing one yeah. Mission Impossible almost lost it with number two somehow they brought it back with number three and now they're writing it out and I think the newest one comes out this week or next week Equalizer 2 I believe is this weekend we're to see yeah. that uh, we, might, we could try we're mis- we never saw Skyscraper oh yeah we didn't that's, oh, that's, it's out tonight that's uh, Strongs says American Pie and Bring It On they had too many as well yeah American Pie Bring It On Bring It On Again Bring, bring It On, it on yeah. like yeah oh god uh, there's so many of those yeah. uh, what was it I think it was like Stomp the Yard Stomp or the Step yard. Up Step Up yeah. Step Up had a bunch of sequels yeah. and I liked the first one um, but yeah American Pie what a great first movie and then the rest of them was just not then great then The Rise of Stifler then there was something about Bandcamp just yeah. oh. Terminator, yes. Yep. Vasquez. Yes. Vasquez comes in with the Terminator movies. If they just would have... But T2 was better than T1. Agreed. Awesome. I love T2. I'm going to say this. One that did it really good and still does it good, Rocky. Stumbled with five. Uh, yeah, I was going to say... Rocky was knocking it out of the park for sure. Uh, yeah. Some they, people they were... say four and three are kind of bad, but, you know, still uh, enjoyable. Still well, classic. Four with Drago is a classic. No, yeah. A lot of people hated four. Did they? Like, rating-wise, it... Flop. wasn't it was like, as good it was so stereotypical they said. and it's very pan it, it pandered a lot to the american audience and the whole thing i and, get that and yeah like the politics behind Do you guys know like the yeah. 30 for 30 things like uh, the tsm things I've i haven't a couple seen of, yeah somebody made a, a, a fake one for rocky 30 for 30 uh rocky 4 and i'll show you after but he's like this is the first time i've seen a boxer go to a hometown and have the hometown turn and cheer for the <laughs> opponent yeah <laughs> But yeah, that's my thing on sequels. I don't know. I just brought it out, like I saw it on Comedians and Cars. What else? Also, we got? relating to this, but it's twisting it again to TV. Do TV movies ruin the TV show? Um, have there been that many? Well, I know like there's been like I know Sex like, in the City was Sex in the City was awful. Uh, like I don't know if you guys watched this as a British show, uh, The In Betweeners. Uh, you mentioned it before when we did our uh, the White Gold uh, yeah. review. So they like the first movie was really good. Like, not really good, but it was, like, good enough. Then the second movie just was horrible. So I think, like, that kind of ruined the legacy of it. But a lot of people don't even watch the movies, so. Um, I still enjoy the TVs. Simpsons want, did their movie because they wanted to, like, as a series finale. And they're doing another Simpsons movie to finally close the book on Simpsons. Which About I think time. they should have done when the first Simpsons movie came yeah. out. Um, but then they tied them on. 30 seasons now? Yeah. But, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Well, even South Park. Right? Yeah, South Park's been going South Park on forever. Just got renewed, I think. Yeah, um, that's a good question. I I don't think there's been enough to know because even the Simpsons movie was good. Bigger, better, uncut is still one of my favorite movies. Yeah, it's like in my top twenty. It was like a uh, hilarious one. Those guys. Entourage movie. Yeah, that movie was not good. Not great. Uh, even the series finale was more of like a, I don't know. It was, it was like well, because we knew the movie was coming. Yeah, that's so probably it was kind of setting up the movie. But yeah, I, I was watching the movie and I was like, this is just a long episode. I think you need to have like I think there needs to be a, a solid break in between when the movie when the show ended, and then like then you do a movie. Agreed. Um, for example, like if you did a Friends movie, not to say that that would ever happen, but like Friends has been off the air for how many years now? Yeah. If you come across now and you do a movie, like at least then you'll get more people interested in because like there's that again that it's nostalgia an factor. Yeah. It's an iconic show. Yeah. But again, I don't think that you making making the jump from like tv to silver screen like you know to the box office it, i don't think it ever goes well like i just i can't it's tough 